Hi, this is Ram from ramcadem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use some common scalar functions that operate on string values. We will begin our lesson by learning how to use the write function. Let's type the following query. Let's say, select write hello, comma, three, and execute. The write function extracts n characters from a string starting from right. So when we say write hello, comma, three, the function extracts three letters from the word hello, starting from the right. In the same way, select left hello, comma, three, extracts three letters from the left side of hello. Pretty simple. The length function returns the length of a string. So for example, select len of hello returns 5. The replace function replaces all occurrences of a substring within a string. So for example, select replace python tutorial. Let's say we want to replace the word python with sql. Let's execute. The first argument is the original string. The second argument is the string we want to replace. And the third argument is the new replacement string. Reverse. The reverse function simply reverses a string. So for example, select reverse hello, returns the word hello in reverse order. Substring. The substring function extracts characters from a string. So, for example, select substring of hello, one, three. The first argument indicates the string to extract from. The second argument indicates the starting position. And the third argument indicates the number of characters to extract. Let's type one more example. Let's say, select substring hello this time let's say 2 comma 4 let's execute this time the starting position was 2 and the number of characters to extract was 4 the lower function simply returns a string in a lower case so for example select lower hello returns the word in lowercase. In the same way, select upper hello returns the word in uppercase. Pretty simple functions. Now let's conclude our lesson by applying all of the function we learned on customers table. Let's type the following query. So, as you can see, this query returns the last name and phone numbers for all customers with length of last name equals to 7. Then, the next column extracts two letters from the right side of last name. The next column extracts two letters from the left side of last name and also returns the string in lowercase. Note the way I have nested the left function within the lower function. First, we are applying the left function on last name and on the results of left, we are applying the lower function. Next, we are creating a column that represents a customer email, composed from the right and left previous results and also the string at gmail.com. Next, we use the replace function to replace all of the dots in the phone number with dashes. And in the last column, we use the substring function to extract four letters from last name starting at second position. So that was a concluding example to the functions we learned in this lesson. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below. And if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramkenem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.